it's time to play some Jeopardy. Uh, sorry that uh, my trim, the trims on the video, like in, in the YouTube editor, I guess I don't use any editing software or anything like that, but yeah, in the YouTube, uh, on the website, they have a trim feature, or trim tool, I forget what it's called exactly, just trim, I think, or the editor, I don't know, anyway, it cuts off the front and the, uh, the back of the video, the beginning and the end of the video, so you don't see me turning on the camera and turning off the camera. So, yeah, I don't know, it makes things better, but yeah, that tool is totally broken now. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. I guess you just have to, have to skip that part. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's play some Jeopardy. Alexa, let's play Jeopardy. Let's go. It's Tuesday. This the the week. is Jeopardy. Let's go. Thanks, Johnny. And welcome, players. Thanks. Are you ready to start? Yes. Let's see what's in store for the Jeopardy round. Let's see. Let's do it. Think it, cat. Today's first category is... American Quotations. In a speech given at the Illinois State House, he said, A house divided against itself cannot stand. Who is Lincoln? That's it. The next category is... TV Workplace Settings. Name the type of workplace central to the show. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. What is a police station? That's right. The next category is... A thin category. It describes a victory just barely won, or an escape just barely made. Repeat. Again, thin the category category. is right. a thin category. Fair it describes a victory that. just barely won or an escape just barely made. What is narrow? Great. The fourth category is... That popped in my head, but yeah. Government. In 2018, Gina Haspel became the director of this organization. What is the CIA? Yes, that's it. The fifth category is... Let's go. Let's do it. Hamburgers. In 1842, this Hamburg-born composer wrote the wedding march. Who is Mendelssohn? Yes, that's right. Boom. The sixth category is... Fries. In Canada, McDonald's serves this dish of fries smothered in gravy and cheese curds. What is poutine? Yes, that's correct. Delicious. Time for the next six clues in the double Jeopardy that was a round. Perfect Jeopardy round. Let's the go. seventh category is Building Big. Standing at ninety-eight feet tall, the statue of Christ the Redeemer towers over this city. What is Rio de Janeiro? You got it. The eighth category is Art and Artists. Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man shows a total of this many arms. What is six? Sorry, the correct response was, what is four? Four. Do you want the next clue? Yes. There's not arms in the middle? I've definitely had, like, the up arms and the down arms. Like, I, I could picture that. Are there are arms in the middle, though? I don't know. Seemed like six was a good guess. Alexa, repeat. Do you want the next one? Repeat. Are you ready for the next one? Yes. The ninth category is... Singing in non-musical movies. Name the movie. Michael J. Fox busts into Johnny B. Good at his parents' high school prom in this movie. What is Back to the Future? Correct. The next category is... Russian literature. Nabokov's poem Lilith echoes this 1955 novel. He also titled with a woman's name. What is Lolita? Correct. The next category is... Make it look good. 
dressing up something to make it seem more impressive is known as putting this cosmetic on a pig. What is makeup? That's not it. The correct response was, what is lipstick? Okay. Want to hear the next one? Yes. The last category is lipstick on a pig. You do know jackalope. The response is made from the letters in jackalope. Some of the letters in the word jackalope can be used to spell this other animal, a eucalyptus loving marsupial. What is koala? You got it. Let's see how you did on this set. Pretty good. Well done. You've got 10 of 12 correct. Should have had you that scored pig in one. the top 1% of players today. Come back tomorrow for more clues. 10 out of 12, and the ones I missed, uh, the Vitruvian Man, but this is the picture, like you've probably seen, it's a drawing by Da Vinci of a dude with his arms up and down. Uh, for sure, they're up and down, and they said that they wanted to know how many arms were in the picture. I said six. Like, it seems like there's like a set of up arms and a middle set of arms and a set of down arms. I don't know, maybe not. I guess they're just, I'm going to have to look it up. Well, I believe, obviously, I believe the the response or the answer there that it was four. But, yeah, I definitely see them. Uh, well, maybe it shows, like, uh, how your arms move, like the motion that they go in or something like that. And that's why I'm thinking that there were arms in the middle. I don't know. But, yeah, I could have gotten that. I suppose I could have gotten that if I thought about it a little more. Because, yeah, now that I think about it, I do think that it's just, like, uh, just shows the motion of your arms rather than arms in the middle, arm, it definitely shows arms at the top and the bottom. And then I thought it showed arms in the middle, but I think it might just be like the motion of your arms in the middle. Um, yeah, but I can't think of the other one that I missed offhand. Oh, it was pretty easy, I think. No, I can't, I can't think of it. I don't know, I have a bad memory, I guess, about some things. Uh, well, I just talked too much about that of a Trubian man picture drawing. Um... But yeah, it was a pretty good, pretty good game. Can't complain too much. 10 out of 12. Not bad. I can't think of what I got yesterday, but I think yesterday was an alright game too. I got like 8 or 9, I think. Uh, so yeah, pretty good. Pretty good start to the week. Not too bad. Thanks for watching. I have to turn the camera.